It's day seven of drawing everything every day. And today we're gonna to be drawing a doggy tape dispenser. I gotta say, some of you are just making me feel pretty inadequate as an artist because you're posting your drawings and they're so much better than mine. But um, I'm very proud of you all for doing what you're doing. Um, you're, you, you're all amazing. So I didn't know if I should go horizontal or vertical. So I kind of eyeballed the dimensions of this and it kind of came out as a square. So if you can kind of look at, it's, it's a bit squarish. So I thought I'd start with a square and then fill in the square. So I'm kind of going in about a quarter of the way from the left. That's about where the tip of the nose is. Um, the head, the, the top, the bridge of the head or whatever, the brow is gonna be towards the top. The ear is gonna be on the left. And I'm, I'm measuring according to that square. And that is where all my proportions, for better or for worse, but that's where all my proportions are gonna be is based off of that overall square. And that's just me simplifying a fairly complex, though cartoony, uh, shape is I'm saying, this is essentially a square and then filling it in from there. So remember, all we need to do is just come up with something, anything, just that, that point of an object that we measure everything else off of. And uh, so for me, it was the overall shape. I could have done the nose, I could have done the, the body, but since it's kind of like the head is also kind of the body, it just kind of felt weird. So I was just kind of just making that shape, that 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 square. But uh, everything else, these aren't perfect. Again, I know we, we don't use the P word, but um, this is essentially, uh, it, it kind of felt it's a it's a this is a bit um, misleading so don't don't think this is easy <laughs> it is not easy I'm sitting here trying to find the center of the nose um, I'm feeling like the nose should be bigger but if I make it any bigger then it's gonna go outside the square which then where's gonna be the room for the bone and the, the bowl and everything so I, I'm just I'm, I'm working and reworking and I'm going Okay, this is this is good enough. This tells the story, but be careful with this one. It is a little bit tricky. Another thing that you're going to notice is um, this is actually kind of reflective. So you're going to see the on his nose. You're going to see um, the white from the bone and the tape reflected uh, at the bottom underneath the the highlight. You're going to see just the things around my desk and the uh, the scotch bowl reflected uh, on his chin. So these are some interesting things to just keep in mind that are gonna be rather challenging when we do the uh, actual shading and whatnot. But uh, you know, the other thing I'm noticing uh, is that the bowl should come right up to the base of his chin and mine doesn't, there's a big gap. So uh, that was one of the first things I noticed. I went, oh, that's off. But off is trying to make it the P word and we're not doing that. We're just doing our best. I think when it's done, you'll notice that it doesn't really matter. You're not really gonna notice that. But these are things that happen. Don't get caught up on that. Um, I did, and, you know, so I'm saying it is human nature for us to go, oh, this isn't exactly how I wanted it to be or it doesn't look exactly how it looks. But Honestly, just keep going. And I think this is a new record, but four minutes in and I'm already out of things to say. So I'm going to the comment section for your questions. The first one being from Chaotic Ghost, who asks, what are you generally interested in other than art that you talk about for hours long? Donna just came in the room and whispered, your wife, which is true. I can talk about her for 35 years and never get bored of her. Other things that I can talk about, um, I, you know, it's funny. I, I love my favorite comic books, my favorite TV shows, my favorite movies, my favorite toys. I cannot talk about them. I don't have the ability, I don't retain the information. Like I can't tell you my favorite issue or episode. I can't tell you the names of, you know, a lot, like, for me, all of that is just kind of stored in my head as a feeling and an emotion, and um, I don't I, I, I don't retain any of that stuff, which is really odd. 
I like to talk about stuff that is, um, as I'm getting older, a little bit more philosophical, a little bit more the meaning of life type of stuff. And um, so I'll wind up kind of um, doing that sometimes. But yeah, my wife. Okay, this one is from Yash Singh, who writes, what should I do, what I can do or what I want to? I can write a novel, but I want to write a light novel or a comic, but I can't draw. I am not good at it. And um, there's a ton of stuff that I want to do or wanted to do that I wasn't good at. Um, gouache watercolors I wasn't good at. Um, I'd never written a movie before, a screenplay I'd never directed before. Um, you're not going to be good at anything when you first start out. You're just not. Um, if you really want to do it, you'll learn it. You have time. You you do. Uh, I didn't take up writing a screenplay until I was 40. I didn't take up uh, watercolors until I was 40. Um, you have time if you really want to do it. The other thing that you can do is like if you want to write a comic book, you can hire or partner up with an artist. I've done that several times. You know, you can you can easily um, work your way around some of these things. Some of these are just problems that need to be solved. Um, the only limit is your determination. All right, this one is from Hairline Twenty One. Do you think AI is going to steal jobs from art because they can basically create art? Hold on, grandfather clock. Um, yes, I do. I think AI art is going to steal jobs from the low-end artists, uh, the people who, I don't know, AI can can mimic maybe, but um, I think I think AI is for people who are lazy who don't want to make art and people who are lazy or cheap and don't want to pay for art. It's a it, it's it's just like a cheap knockoff is what it is and that's totally fine um, it, it really is it's totally fine um, but I think uh, artists have survived the the advent of photography they've survived the advent of Photoshop uh, the printing press um, digital art and we're still here we're still making art and and I think so long as humans are around we're going to be making art can a computer do it better yeah computer could probably write better can probably um, dance better could probably do everything we can you know machines are going to be able to do everything better than us um, but why would we stop making art um, all, all it's going to do is it's going to make it harder for us to find, um, I don't want to say it's going to make us hard. For, artists are always going to make art. The, the people who probably weren't going to buy your art anyhow are going to be using AI art. You see what I'm saying? It, it's the people who wouldn't pay for an artist anyhow, which is why they're going to go and do AI art. Um, that That's really all it is. The, 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 the the company, the patrons, the the art lovers are always going to be there for you, for us. At least that's my thoughts. All right. Hania Happy asks, if you had to get rid of something in the Hobbit hole, what would it be? Um, Self-doubt, if I can. Um, I, I'm really hard on myself and um, I don't know. I think that's, I think every artist, I think every human being is, but uh, I just, if I could just be in the moment and just enjoy the fact that I'm in a hobbit hole making art, I think that's what I'd like. Danique Vink, or, uh, oh gosh, I'm so sorry, D-I-N-E-K-E-V-I-N-K-E, -E -E, um, asks, what would you say to someone who is scared of using expensive art tools because he might waste them on bad art? I would say, um, don't use them then. Um, don't, you're always gonna make bad art. 
uh, I made a video where I talk about how you have to make a hundred pieces of art uh, to find to get one good one and then as you go along now you now it takes 75 pieces to get one good one and then 50 and then 25 and then maybe one out of 10 pieces you like etc cetera, etc cetera. Um, maybe wait until you get to that one out of 10 space just fill up sketchbooks with bad art get all the bad art out and then use the good uh, art materials I I I think I wasted a lot of my parents' money when, when I was going to art school because I would buy, you know, like whatever I could have, you know, they would give me a budget and I, and I would buy expensive art, but I was still learning. And and it was a waste of money to, to, to buy expensive art materials for a college student. So I would say while you're still learning, just pencil and paper um, or cheap paints if you're, if you're painting, but don't, don't waste the, the good stuff. When you're older, when you're more experienced, like in my position, we st I still wind up, you know, we still have that mentality of, oh, I don't want to use this. This is really good paper. Or this is really good paints. But that's a different story. That is, stop it. Use the good stuff, you know, kind of situation. But I think in your position, I would say, get get a little better to where you feel like you're happy with at least 50% of your art. If you're at that point, then start using the good stuff. All right, we are at the point where I'm gonna use the white pencil. That's always my favorite part. So, um, and I apologize, I didn't do any of the pencil sharpeners uh, announcements today, because um, I'm just trying to get this out here for you, so. I, I started this off thinking that, well, it's a white uh, dog, so I should fill it in with white, and then I thought, well, it's kind of more of a cream color, and the background's already kind of cream, so I'm just gonna fill in just the highlights. So that's what I'm doing right here. Um, just the reflections, just some just spot, little spotlights and whatnot. And I just, I really like the look of these two pencils in the paper. So, and, and, and a lot of you keep asking and I keep uh, answering in the comments, but this is a dark purple uh, Prismacolor pencil and a white Prismacolor pencil. All right, and gosh, and I am so sorry. Chandakrant Pow. I hope I got that close. Asks, hey Scott, is it wrong that I use eraser because I have seen that you don't use eraser? Um, I use an eraser all the time. The thing I'm doing right now is 50% laziness and 50% challenge for myself to just not go for perfection. So the reason why I'm not using an eraser for these is just because I, I, I'm, I'm not trying for perfection. I am just drawing to draw. And there is nothing wrong with an eraser. You can use an eraser all you want, but um, for me during all of this, an eraser, an eraser sometimes feels like um, you're saying to yourself that this is a mistake and I've got to fix it. And, it's, and sometimes you know you're just like, this is just so bad. I've got to, I've got to fix this. Otherwise, it's going to drive me crazy. But I'm trying to live with my mistakes a little bit with these, and that's all it is. That's not part of the draw everything every day. There's nothing wrong with using erasers. Everybody uses erasers. You need erasers. I use an eraser every single day. But the reason why you're not seeing me do that with these is um, I'm going for speed and I'm just trying to not focus on my mistakes. I'm just trying to focus on just making art. Okay, um, th guys, I'm, I'm telling you, the questions are making this so much more easier for me because I can answer a question and it just loosens me up. And so please, please, please keep these questions coming. Um, uh, I love seeing all of your drawings. They're amazing. Uh, by the way, I am not checking Twitter. I, I, I've logged on a couple of times and I saw that some of you were tagging me on Twitter. Don't don't post me on Twitter just because I'm not really doing that. But um, other than that, uh, I, I am absolutely in love with everything I'm seeing. Thank you guys for following along. Um, and I am just trying this pen. This is my Uniball Signo. 
just because I had the, the white colored pencils would not go over that, but uh, you don't need to do this part, okay? You don't don't go out and try to paint this or whatever. It's just this is me just adding like a little bit of this. Anyways, um, thank you all. I hope you've enjoyed drawing the little doggy tape dispenser, and I will see you for the next one. Oh, and don't forget, there's a whole playlist for this, so feel free to go back and do the others if you haven't done these yet, and um, we'll see you next time.